how do we find the average speed? Um, it's not too difficult. Uh, here's a scenario that might help. Lori traveled 312 miles in six hours. What was her average rate of speed? Um, the rule of thumb is always divide your distance by the time. Um, it doesn't matter what order it shows up in the problem. Um, for instance, the um, distance uh, was 312 miles and the speed was six hours. We could have flipped around. We said it took Lori six hours to travel 312 miles. It, it doesn't matter the order that you see it in the problem. You want to always put your distance on top, so 312 miles, and your um, time on the bottom, six hours on the bottom. So 312 divided by six is 52. However, um, after you divide, you're still left with units, which is miles over hours. Uh, we know it more commonly as miles per hour. So miles divided by hours is the same thing as 52 miles per hour. Um, the real thing that's trying to say is that every hour on average, uh, Lori was able to travel 52 miles. So that's how you find the average speed. Let's take a look at a few examples. Uh, we've got some uh, problems that we've got from our book. The race car went 500 miles in four hours. What was its average speed? Well, first off, pick out your distance. In this case, it was 500 miles. And then we locate our time, and that was four hours. So it's distance divided by time. So 500 divided by four. 500 miles divided by four hours is 125 miles per hour. When we take a look at another problem, we see that Kerry drove 124 miles in two hours. So 124 miles, and she did it in two hours. So 124 miles divided by two hours is 62 miles per hour. This next one is going to try and trick you a little bit. You might want to pause the video and then hit play after you think you have the answer. Okay, so you've hopefully gone through and done this yourself. After seven hours of driving, Chad had gone 364 miles. What was his average speed? Well, the distance is 364 miles. It's not seven hours. Um, that's the, the trick. They just tried to give you the time element before they gave you the distance. But we're still going to be holding true to put your distance on top, 364 miles, and put your time on the bottom, which is seven hours. After you divide it, you get 52 miles per hour.